Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Jeremy Jones and the team are approaching the summit of the Grand Teton, the tallest peak in the range. We've been in the dark for six hours and you come over the top and you're in the sun and all its glory and it's warm and it's there's not a breath of wind and it's just such a magical moment to stand on that summit in those conditions. At the top of their objective, the team has only begun the adventure. First, they will evaluate the snow to even see if they feel comfortable dropping in on the east face. Blower looking snow, no slab, but um, you know, looks pretty deep and we're gonna go do our assessment. Once they commit to skiing the face, there is no turning around. And the only way down is over the cliff at the bottom, hopefully on rappel. It was just such a uniform, right side up looking snowpack. And even not being able to produce any kind of result on any of our tests, it still just felt like this is out there. I'm just trying to keep, the, keep breathing. With confidence in the snowpack, the team tries to calm their nerves as they make their final preparations to drop in on the east face of the Grand Teton. Up, enjoy this. I thought that I would have been in this gripping, don't fall here deal. It, there was none of that. I just let go and it was pure joy and in like the most precarious place I'd ever been in my life. <laughs> butterflies, but in a good way. Since I always want to get on my board and make some turns. All right, drop it. Had it been any other winter, it would just be unreasonable to be riding a 55 degree hanging snow field at 14,000 feet after three to four feet of new snow has fallen. Once in a lifetime perfect conditions have allowed the team to ride this line in deep winter snow. But the threat of avalanche constantly looms in a place where any slide, slough, or fall could be a life ending mistake. For all involved, these consequences keep them focused on the task at hand. Yeah. 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 Are you kidding me? 